So starting the test drive in this Aviator Black Label, love, love, love the sound of the vehicle overall from the exhaust notes to the engine, the blow off valves from the turbos. Everything feels sporty while still feeling like the epitome of luxury and that is pretty impressive in my opinion. But everything feels good. I have the massager going now and it's crazy how this seat just cups your body in a way that's just hard to describe. Very comfortable, very supported. Just a great job by linking with these seats. And this, it drives like a dream, it really does. I'm gonna close the sunshade now. Now I think I have this in, yeah, I have it in normal mode now. And honestly, the way that the vehicle is set up, you can use the conserve or the excite mode, but normal mode is probably gonna be good the vast majority of the time. Because you really get that luxurious feel. Now I like the conserve on these twin turbos because it helps save on your gasoline, but it's still, it feels more luxurious than an eco mode. And I've said this before about the Navigator. And this one here is no different. But the normal mode gives me just enough freedom to use the vehicle as I would like while still not burning through the gas like it does in the Excite mode. And then you get the full effect of 400 horsepower, 494 pound-feet of torque. Now what's really... What's super cool about this Aviator is not only is it sporty, not only not only is it luxurious, but when you're not putting your foot into it, it is extremely quiet. And even with the wind going crazy right now, it's still pretty quiet in the cabin. I feel like I'm in a sauna almost, just relaxing with the massage seat going. And the sound acoustics in here are perfect. So it's not an echo chamber, but it also keeps everything that's unwanted out. And I always think of Mercedes when comparing interiors and this does a great job at trying to beat Mercedes at their own game. Again, the interior is plush, the controls for everything is fantastic, the drivetrain is fantastic. And honestly, for the money, if you want to compare it to, I don't want to necessarily say a GLS, but maybe a, a GLE. That's probably not a good one either. I'd probably go with the GLS, honestly. This does a good job in every sense, comparing to something that's a little bit more money, depending on how you option out a GLS, a lot more money. But still, you get everything that you would want and then some compared to a similarly equipped Mercedes-Benz. And it's kind of weird when you look at the Navigator, the Navigator has really, what Lincoln has done, which I think is super smart, is the Navigator is still that almost limo vehicle for those who need an executive SUV or that want the room of an expedition. And this is, to me, even though it's pretty much on the same platform as let's say an Explorer, it feels bigger in terms of just all the options you get, all the tech that you get. So to me, it puts it in a class of its own, it really does. So the excite mode, oh my gosh, it really, oh, it is so quick. It's so, so quick. And the roar.
aura that you get from this powertrain, my goodness. Phenomenal, that's the only way to put it. So I'm gonna see if I can give it something here. So quick, so quick. That was, that was nice, it really was. So I'm gonna put it back into conserve now and I'm gonna turn on the cruise control. And then it's great to have the, the heads up display here because I can see all the cruise controls right in front of me whereas the steering wheel's kind of in the way here. So some stuff's down there below, but this is right in my face. And then I see the fuel economy right here. So I'm still getting around 15 miles per gallon on this incline. Let's see what it does as I start to level out. So still on a slight incline, but it's going up. And as we start to decline, you'll see it go towards that 40 marker. And what's impressive is this thing. Oh, it glides down the interstate. And minimal road noise, even with these 22s on here. And as I'm coming towards the end of this test drive, my girl's been saying she wants a plug-in hybrid aviator. And uh, I feel like the Pacifica hybrid was enough for her, but I might have to get her one of these just for me because this thing is fantastic. Every way around from the luxury amenities to the power you get, just the sounds of the door dings, or when you open the door and it dings, the engine, everything is super, super superb. Just so luxurious all the way around. And the price may seem steep, but compared to what else you can get for the price, it's pretty much top notch in my opinion right now. Not a lot touches it. And then you can still get that $7,500 tax credit with the hybrid. But just an impressive, impressive SUV still. And this will bring me to the end of my review of the 2023 Lincoln Aviator Black Label.